guys, I have something super cool to share with you. Uh, it is being delivered as I speak right now. It's supposed to be a really fast scooter. I don't know much about it, so we'll unbox it together and we'll see what it is. Is it's it big? A, it is. Really? Yeah. How big it is? Uh, <laughs> we don't have a loading dock, so... Where is your delivery? Uh, delivery is right here, yeah, to this address, yes. I see stairs down there. Well, I'm thinking to open if it's big to open it outside, so okay. not bring it inside. I'll bring it right over there. Okay, okay awesome. Give Let's see. Few minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stay here. This is going for on YouTube, so it's okay with that, right? What is it? <laughs> We're gonna make you famous. It's going on YouTube. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, of course. <laughs> awesome. Here, sidewalk I think is good. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, here's good. Perfect. Thank you so much for delivery. I just need your signature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully it's one piece. Oh shoot, big wheels. Look at this. Holy moly, this I think it's 14 inches or... Yeah, 14 inches, whoa. This is a big bike, man. Exciting. Yeah, super cool. Well, really big. It looks to be okay. Like nothing really damaged. So from outside, yeah, just they got good protection. That's the good yeah. Thing. A lot of styrofoam, so that's good. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, so Let me sign. Brain, brain. No worries. This is perfect timing. Oh, Two o'clock. It's perfect. Exactly. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. All right, take Have care. a nice day. So the box, as you can see, got damage on the shipping, but the styrofoam actually wrapped around the scooter pretty well. Man, this thing is massive and it's beautiful. Dual 1000 shock suspension, holy moly. Man, this thing is so big. I don't think I can fit this through the entrance of the building. All right, guys, everything gets very well uh, wrapped and packed. Uh, every single joint has plastic and uh, styrofoam is a screen. I don't see any damage anywhere. Everything seems to be well wrapped around, so yeah, it looks pretty good. A dual 4000 watts hub motors, maximum power output 8000 watts. The battery is 60 volts, 60 amps hour. That's 3.6 kilowatt of power. The frame is massive, big chunks of steel. It's almost like one of those Honda small motorcycles only crammed into a scooter frame. Big, huge wheels. It has this very rectangular, very boxy shape. I think more rounded shapes and more plastic will make it look more appealing, but still looks super cool. I got so many compliments while testing this model in the city. It's like a magnet for starting conversations. They advertise 124 miles in the range. This is insane. And look here in the back. Two brakes, two hydraulic brakes, 160 millimeters rotors, and only one in the front. And the suspension has so much travel. Just look in the back here. Two dual shocks, 1,000 pounds each. Here, metal reinforcement, composite fender, and we have a big rear light. And look at this 14 inch size tire. Massive. And what's cool here, it covers entire wheel. So there's no splash when you run, let's say, in the rain or over like water. 2,000 pounds, two shocks in the back. There's so much travel, and I'll show you in a moment. And it's so comfortable, so soft. Actually going over bumps and big holes is just so much fun. I would like to show you just a size comparison between the X7 and the regular compact scooter that you probably see daily in your area. It folds nicely and what I like about this model, there's no play. The grab in the middle, no play at all. Very sturdy, very solid. And you have this clamp, so clamps on both sides. And this shocks in the back is just massive. I mean, I don't know why you need two shocks, but like it feels so comfortable. And I have still styrofoam here in it from unpacking. It has this industrial look. I wish they had like more plastic like the GT2 or GT1 uh, Segway. 
like more futuristic but uh, even the way uh, it sits uh, I mean if you need to go crazy extreme off-road uh, this is the one uh, to do it cables wrapped around nicely and here covered with metal on the side and running underneath so not the most beautiful scooter but uh, it's just like steel rough uh, power brute power uh, it looks like uh, it's done for off-road Now it's active. The battery, you can charge it on the scooter. You have two dual ports and you can actually take it outside and charge it out of the frame. You can lock it here, rear foot rest, so much space, foldable, but the suspension is just insanely comfortable. Uh, I feel like I want to go over like bad terrain and just like ride it. You don't feel anything. It's so comfortable, so soft and so much travel and look at the space here how much ground clearance big screen same standard throttle the same p settings eco turbo single dual turning signals i don't have a scale to double check the weight it's not uh, posted on the website but uh, i assume it's between um, 130 maybe 150 i'm still able to lift it but it's heavy and uh really wide uncomfortable to maneuver so if you have a garage you're all set and you can get this beast and go off-road and bomb the hills uh, if you have an apartment like i do in new york you have to have somewhere in the lower level of storage that can roll in otherwise getting this in uh into the elevator is going to be a pain in the ass but uh, it looks cool and uh let's take it for a ride and uh, let's see how it performs before engaging the throttle, you feel the weight and you have to keep the frame upwards, which is quite a task for a smaller person. But once you engage and accelerate, the scooter levels itself up and this heavy mass works in your advantage. It's super stable, easy and surprisingly maneuverable. The throttle is intuitive, there's no dead zone and it will engage right away. It has a slow and gradual comfortable start, but once you pass 15 to 20 km an hour mark, you feel the immense power kick in and acceleration becomes way faster and more aggressive. Riding the scooter fast is so much fun. Plenty of space on the deck and you can position your body in any way you like. The weight will play in your advantage and will give you so much more stability and increased control. Top speed. While recording, I wasn't able to speed up to maximum power output, but while I was testing the day before, I reached 55 miles an hour and X7 went straight like a bullet. Range. With only half of the battery, I was able to cover 35 miles. And the test was done at the maximum speed, aggressive acceleration and stopping. 124 miles advertised range is most likely achievable in slower speeds around 20 miles an hour with a lighter rider. Charging. We have two 1.7 amp hour chargers that will take about close to 20 hours to charge this massive battery. This pack can be charged outside the frame and you'll get this Anderson connector with a dual parallel port that will allow you to charge outside of the frame. The scooter doesn't fit in my apartment so I had to park it in another place and I took the battery out, brought it home and you have this Anderson connector here so it clips in. Then you have parallel dual ports and you can connect uh, both chargers at the same time and these chargers are quite slow, only 1.7 amps. I'm going to take it down so I can show you guys. We have here this display. So I press once and it shows the capacity. Second time the voltage and then off. Cool indicator. But uh, the battery, it's massive, it's heavy. We have here specifications and have both handles so you can lift it at the same time and uh, carry it. Having this uh, option of being able to remove the battery and charge it, uh, you know, home uh, was a very uh, useful uh, uh, feature. I think it makes sense to invest in 5 amp faster charger and with dual chargers you reduce the charging time to 5, maybe 6 hours only. We have a cool indicator on a side that's helpful and a ventilation system for the controller and the battery. The FOC drive has an integrated fan to keep it quote maximum power delivery to ensure longevity. This X7 model has this chunky industrial big block steel look. 
The front has this dual frame design with lights that looks pretty cool and it's well built. There's no play at all and it feels sturdy compared to other similar design scooters. The four front lights light up when you use the horn that's pretty loud. I have tried all size scooter wheels up to 11 inches, but these 14 inch tires are just on another level. The suspension is already so good, but the added size increased the comfort, more control and better grip. You have to try this in person, it is really that good. This monster scooter is not designed for everyone, but if you're seeking excitement, if you have a bigger wallet, a spacious garage, and your commute is traced through extreme off-road, or let's say you're working on a farm where roads and paths are challenging, the Obotter X7 will definitely be a helpful and extremely fun EV to own and will shine in that environment. If you ride in the woods, mountains, any challenging environments, also including in the city, the Obotter X7 will do great. Put a smile on your face and turn heads. Guys, always wear protective gear, ride safely and I'll see you next time.